Welcome back to another cast game in the console TN server. Here are the best of the best players going at it in a 5v5 Pro League style match. So let's go through the teams. We have Batty, Joker, Tab Up, Ryan, Deathhawk, and Cypher Jones against Pot, Patty Mills, Remenful, Jack, and JKMZ. We only have one Xbox player in this lobby currently, which is kind of crazy. I, I expect more, but hey, we only have one, so it is what it is. But it is cross platform. Xbox or PlayStation, if you, whichever platform you are, you're able to join the Discord servers with how we're hosting these games and uh, queue, the, queue our lobbies. We're casting one of these lobbies right now. So, uh, let's get it. Here, we are going to be playing Chalet. And we are going to see a Jackal Ban. Jackal Ban helps with the roam clear. It's going to make it a little bit harder to, for the roam clear. Allowing you to kind of crouch walk around and be a little bit more sneaky. Next band is going to be Osa. Osa Shields. You have Osa Shields at long angle on big garage. You have Osa Shields outside the bog Snowmobile garage. Osa is just generally annoying to have to deal with as a defender. It can give you a lot of free map control while being very safe behind those shields. So, good to be gone. Next we see a Melissa band, which helps with the crouch walk. Uh, going to be gone now, so the attackers are going to be able to potentially sneak into sight a little bit easier with that Mel being gone. And then we're going to see the captain band. People don't like having to look at. But the reason why Capcom's banned so much, you only have five traps and they do 60 damage each trap and you can stack them on doors that like they, they can instant kill you. Definitely annoying. But the worst thing about Capcom is that you have to deal with his traps while potentially engaging defenders. So it, it's hard to look at the door, look both sides of the door, look around, look up and down, and then also having to take a firefight. So at all levels, that is extremely annoying. So banning Capcom is definitely not a bad idea. A lot of times, though, you will see a Valkyrie in a mirror band. On a map like this, I definitely would probably leave the mirror up, ban the Valk, and ban the Capkin. I definitely don't think that's a bad idea. Valkyrie is very, very strong as a defender, but we're not going to be played for the orange team currently. We're going to see a little bit of wall out in terms of the mute. We'll be able to make the de uh, default rotation. We we'll rotate back and forth to that area. Um. Yeah, no Cade, no real wall denial, but we will we will have a mute, but with the thatch on the board, that mute is gonna do barely anything to stop the wall from getting open. But we are only going to have an ace for the hard breach. So that may bite them in the butt a little bit. Reason why, ace, if you don't use your breaches correctly, you are gonna to have to vault through the breach, so Thermite will give you a big open hole. Oh my God. What the hell did I just watch there, buddy? Anyways, the thermites <laughs> give you big open holes that will allow you to just kind of walk through and run through. But the, the aces, you're gonna have to vault and you're really exposed while you vault. So here we're gonna see a nitro come out. Remember Menful, I believe. Oh, he has a shield. I think he, I think he thought about it, but batty with a grenade in his hand. And then Joker gives a trade with his gun. Don't play behind the shield. Again, utility, but nobody playing the utility. Look at that long angle, but not quite. Jack, you can take it out. Twitch, we're coming in. Take out another one with a crazy shot on Pawn. Patty with the trade on Joker. Now, oh, with another kill. Patty in a 1v2 here. Very winnable round. Rotating through, which trying to find him. Attackers recovered the bomb. That could go down at any second. I think Deathhawk is going to go for the plant while Kali covers. Kali can't see anything. Horrible. Kali missed the shot. On the floor! The Kali! With a horrible breach. Can't see anything through that breach. I don't know what was happening. They just tried to open it around the. Oh my god, look at that, look at that mess. Oh no. It was gonna have to hit a crazy shot here. Over right, these guys, mostly champions. Oh. Oh, 
losing down by the shield. <laughs> Ooh. A little sketchy. Oh, a little bit of juke. I'd go left and then I'd sprint in right full speed. He keeps not going. I keeps leaving the shield. Oh man. He almost threw twice doing that, but he did get the kill. Oh man. That was a good hole by Orange at the come. I mean, they had to come back a little bit. It was looked a little bit lost, but they kept on keeping the pressure on. They never really cleared the utility off the wall for the blue team. The thatch. I, I don't know what happened with their wall reaching the wall denial. I, I I don't know what was going on, but that long angle was very bad to cover anything. I think that Twitch thought he had a lot more eyes on the site than he did. So. I'm gonna be very aggressive with the rank ups and rank downs this this uh go around. When I say you do something good or bad, you're gonna get hit with rank ups and rank down very actively, so be ready. Attacker's objective is to defuse a bomb. Reloading. Alright. We are gonna see Top hold. The upside down, look for a kill. Won't be able to find it, but we'll light up the mozzie. But Thunderbirds, you'll, you'll be able to heal through, no problem. So, a lot of people will push through library. There's a lot of ways to attack this. Without trying to get a grenade kill on the guy in fireplace, we'll miss though. A lot of ways to push this. So, you can push through library, push your way over, while joining up bar and games, pushing library control, and then working the wall, pushing through. Looks like they're mostly just going for a canine. Not really taking control of anything. I don't think that this is an actual push. They are gonna have to worry about Pont. You get lucky on a kill here because nobody is pushing that library balk. So he are, is able to just kind of walk around for free with no real pressure. So I think this push kind of sucks, but they are going to get two picks already. Talking about and Jonas, they're gonna pick the window, taking another one out. Patty trying to get the refrag with nothing there. The thought is just going to walk up on Pont. I don't know if Pont knows fully while he's getting actually drowned. They have the numbers now. Pont taking some damage. He doesn't know where the. Oh, he knows. He, he does know he's getting pressured though, and we'll go down. I don't agree with that push at all, but orange team basically threw it all away. They just keep pushing and swinging doors and windows the team is baiting from and they just keep getting their heads ripped off. So clean it up. Orange team looking, sorry, blue team looking, blue team looks fine. Orange team looking really goddamn sloppy. The only reason why they won that last round was that Patty had a good round. Everything else was sloppy as hell. Clean it up. Defenders, protect your bombs from being diffused by attackers. Yeah, blue push doesn't, doesn't even look good. Like, their, their pushes honestly look look like butt. But stop pushing if they're holding your window or door. Like, stop pushing. Stop swinging. Is it a cast TMS? Oh, He's got to see a match. You go back to the same site, so. A lot of the guys. I don't want to die from K9, I believe. They just keep peeking this door. And they basically all died. Or they peeked the main window and died. Like. Blue team had no one push library. They just had a bunch of guys baiting outside, which looks like they're about to do it again. All pushing from the same side of the map. No one going library. No one actually clearing anything. Just hoping that the orange team just keeps putting themselves in danger. Which I believe they will. Open. 
This is one of the worst looking attack pushes I've ever seen, but Batty is going to crouch walk into the basement. Goes and is in from the garage. No one knows. They have no idea. Takes one out, but misses the shot on the Remenful. Good little trade there. Down to the Ayana, but I doubt he has any idea. We'll get the run out though. And another run out. Now we just top up Ryan. Runs out from K9 and one jumped out the bathroom window up top to the killer guy on the piano belt. So he jumped out that window, killed that guy, then one ran out, killed one, and then saw the other guy that was down, killing them both. Now it's just the IQ alone in 1v3. Thankfully, Orange won this round because this, this attack push just looked like so bad. Had the right cross of placement, but siege timing looks away and gets his head ripped off. Attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs as they can. What are your honest opinions about the blue, blue attack team so far? Well, it, it's been horrible. Orange's defense has not even been good. Like, a lot of sloppy holds, but blue team is just really playing extremely goddamn baity, all pushing together, which is fine except for that they're all on the same side of the map like if you're gonna do like a k like they're doing like a three or four man k9 push instead of like having like one or two guys going library one droning one going snow balk with playmore on the bathroom hop out opening that window so they can't just walk over and then just like pushing opening the wall they were doing none of that so here Jack just swinging around. We'll remember we'll go down on the pixel. Another one swings out. Patty trying to fight the pixel. We'll take out one, get his trade. Thankfully, it was only Ayana, not someone super relevant. Oh man, Death Hot goes down as well. Twitch going down. No wall breach. So speaking of horrible attacks, we have no wall breach. So everyone over here has to funnel through this one door and they can't do anything else. So we're just gonna play the door game. We'll try to finish one off. Oh, won't actually finish him off. We'll get the finish off there though. That just goes down. Up, up Ryan takes out one, but then it goes down shortly afterwards. Horrible attack by the blue team again. Thank you with a T1. Let's go, baby. Appreciate you, man. Three months. Horrible attack. Horrible attack. Definitely everything they did. I want you guys to remember that and then throw it out the window into the trash can. Garbage. Goofy. They all pressure the door and they all die on it. Attackers Listen, sometimes you won't have a wall breach and that's fine. Like it happens. But if that happens, you can't all just play this one door. Go up top. Is the hatch soft? Is the hatch reinforced? Go take control of up top. Work the staircase. Work both staircases. Work some of the floor. Do something else. Don't just try to force a square block through a circle hole, figure it out, be smart, be a good player. Blue team has not gotten that far yet. 10 seconds to go. 
five seconds left before insertion. Laying out the welcome mat. Attacker's objective is to locate a bomb and defuse it. I'm not communicating. They should be because I'm ranking them up and down like they are. So. Okay, well, Bootsy Bat has a plethora of utility now. They have the Hibana Hard Breach. They have, I believe, oh no. Sorry, they have the Zero Claymores. Oh, they really need a Hard Breach charge here, I guess. So, no big deal. Tech will go down to Batty. Who's playing the Snowbelt window. They are starting to hit from several directions now. Starting to learn Chile as we go. They still have multiple guys K9, which does kind of make me a little bit pissed off, but you know, not everyone's there this time. Got it with another kill from that, from that window. Imagine not just going K9 and killing multiple people. That's great. Deathhawk all the way in. No idea he's this far in. I really open this up for death to potentially score dick mz will get a refrag though on top of brian from the main door joker hops in into a frost mat doesn't see the guy in the short hallway we'll take out one doesn't see the guy in short we'll find somebody else Hell engaged. what are you doing we're casting some games right now All right, so now we have Patty in the in the bar site as well as Pont. Pont holding back. We'll walking down the main staircase, we won't be able to see him quite yet. Oh, he does see him, Patty. Trying to get that shot, but not going to be able to connect that. Patty is in a very dangerous spot because if he stands up, either one of those people. Oh, but Pont with a tap on the Ayana going down. Now it is just Deathhawk and Jones. They try to clutch us up now, going down to a two v two situation here. Deathhawk walks down and hits the proc, so now they are going to know that he's in the short. The Twitch walking down as well on his side. Giving up the vert. Oh, but doesn't quite take out the Solus. Solus does probably circle around there. Solus is circling. We'll find the knock. Oh, missed the shot. Pont! Pont! Hits the shot! Pont finds one. And then finds the second. That shot was good, and that shot was even better. Boom. Pont with a... The Orchards have not been bad. They have been caught sleeping a couple times, peeking out doors, peeking out windows. But the core of the orange side is playing very, very, very smart and very cautious. So a little bit of stupidity on the orange side, but overall, not bad. Or Blue is really relying on the crouch walk and the window peaks to just get enough people so they can actually push through. No real strategy going on the, for the blue side. I want to see something that like screams in intelligence, like push or something, anything. Not seen it yet. Not seen it yet. It was just this is a casted game on console. The TM server. Dick Games, he will take out the first one. Death Hawk goes down. Just playing aggressively on the K9 door because they know that that's all the well, that's the only place that they, they have to, the blue team is going. Jones will take out another one from the solar puller. Pont going down. These attack pushes are literally so goddamn awful. They're not taking any map control. They're only going for the walls, for the uh, the balcony and the walls directly. But they keep it in the trade. So, Orange, you feeding into it. 
Brian is going to walk up. They are going to know that he's there, though. But they're not going to be hidden in any type of way. Yep, they are going to know. Revival does is is aware that he is there. Jack is going to pressure forward. And both go down. I mean, can't see. I didn't see that any of that coming. One five with side swap. I mean, blue team. They their attacks were. Like, we we've talked about this in depth. They had no hard breaks. They focused doors. They didn't adapt. They all were just pushing and looking for picks from windows and doors. And when they when they find them, awesome. But when they don't, then they pressure in more into the unknown and get their heads taken off. So hopefully, as the defenders, they're going to be a little bit better. Clearly, we're going to see a lot of running around. I I'm assuming a lot of roaming and a lot of running around. And not much team utility. But oh, we do have a mute and we do have an ADS. So, you know, that's more than I expected. For the orange team, though, I expect the opposite. We are going to probably have a doke with EMP guidance. We're going to have a hard breach. And we're going to have some soft clear. with the first pick opener on the orange side they're all together they're all pushing they're getting the wall Jones oh my god they're playing in boiler they can't get out what will it matter they do take them out they're playing a little bit brain dead but it's working for them blue teams trying to make a comeback now just plot alone who is trying to open up the wall won't be able to now now it is in a 1v3 plenty of time to work two minutes if one pushes him, he will make the ride a little bit more winnable. Pop, move, maneuvering around a little bit, trying to see if we can see anyone. Now, two boiler isn't crazy if the wall is open. That wall is closed. There's no retreat. There is no surrender. Pot can't find the shot there fully. He will actually down him, but I don't think he's aware. Does at least one there. Won't be able to find the shot. Two five. So blue team getting a little bit more rank starry and we'll get the round playing really aggressive and a little stupid but it does work for them so if orange can adapt to that style then they'll be fine yeah and blue team is falling apart mentally they are all fighting with each other in the in the chat in discord so uh they're definitely not having a great time Defenders, protect your bombs from being confused by attackers. Yeah. Oh yeah. If you if you play with that wall open, that's fine. That that is a shot. You have a shield here, and you put open the wall with ADSs. I mean, it's really hard to push that guy, right? <laughs> but they they had that wall closed, and they had two in boiler. I assume they they push out through this door. They swung that, and then hit over here, and then two people did it. And then realize they're both over here, and they had time to come back. I think I mean, they won their firefight, so it was fine. Ten seconds left before insertion. Five seconds to go. Well, blue team is, like I said, morally drained. Like their, their morale is at a little time low. I don't like this breach, but that basically dies k9 to be able to do anything from that position but same can be said for the defenders they can't really hold that k9 door from long range the blue team is really fixated on everybody likes to go k9 but orange team isn't going k9 at all honestly k9 is not that good of an area to push from you have one guy here maybe kind of lurking working the door uh, they are having multiple people go here now but they are going to go through 
Not going to go through the library like we talked about. Fun does go down though. We're gonna see a refrag though. And another. So taking control of library so they can push through and see like the entire orange team is inside the building. We never saw that from the opposite the side. Jack taking out another one. That was just a yep, takes them all up. Now that attack was by far leaps and bounds better than what we already saw. Leaps and bounds better than what we saw from the other team. Defenders, protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. Someone. This console, yep. That attack was coordinated. There was multiple points of entry from like we had one guy walk up the staircase while one pushed in from K9 as people were pushing library. And I, I think I even saw some snow window pressure. That was good. That was a more of a clinical attack. They had a couple people drop early, but that's just gonna happen on on a push like that. It's gonna happen. But they had the trades, they had the refrags, and they kept killing. They had the zero hard breach gadget, which is more than fine. And zero for the attack zero for the flank watch, zero for the hard breach gadget. Not bad. It works as a hard breacher on a map like that because you only have one wall you have to go through. You can just make, put holes on both sides. More than fine. So here we are going to see the same thing again. Probably going to go K9. Now we're going to get a run out. No. And he can't hit the shot. JKMZ. No. But we won't die. And he is functioning as a hard breach. So him dying here is going to be not great. Oh, but he is pushing in. And he will actually go down. We'll get a trade. But now, now that you're not going to be able to open that wall. I'm not really sure why he did that. That was a little dumb. This guy has functioned as the hard breacher here. Uh, not, 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 not a great idea, but they are going to be taking a lot of map control. Now they're going to work up top, but now they can't open that wall. They, they can open this wall with an ash, but this wall is going to be safe. Temple pushing. We'll take out one. Trying to find another, but won't quite hit that. As she comes out, and a miss. Abby does that a mile away. Trying hard to find. Everyone should be using games. If they're not, they definitely get deranked because they would win and lose together. So it's on them if they if they, if they suck and clearly they're sucking. All right, shots with Deathhawk. We'll take out Remenful who crashes into that headshot. Bomb located by. Grenade comes out just enough to stall him. I got in a bad situation there. Now Pawn kind of lets it happen a little bit. Not good timing together. That's how it goes sometimes. Pawn in 1v2. We'll almost kill the Mozzie. There it is. Mozzie completely swing that aggressively. And we'll take out the Legion Pawn 24. Ended blue team's misery. So let, let's let's emphasize why orange team won. Orange team was a lot more coordinated. They had, they had some mistakes here and there, but overall, a lot more coordinated, and you can tell they wanted it more. Blue team coordination was horrible. They didn't pick sides. They didn't they didn't pick the ops that they needed to in any situation, and they never really looked like they were taking any type of map control. They just tried to bait, and they pu got punished for it. And that's how she goes. All right, guys, I'm Senville. And make sure to subscribe, drop a comment, and leave a like down below for more. Until next time, peace out.